India is now scripting history in science, technology and innovation, being home to second largest group of scientists and engineers in the world. India is third among the most attractive investment destinations for technology transactions in the world. Digital India program and 11 different initiatives to drive has taken India up the world tech radar. India has emerged as the most preferred destinations for innovation in Asia and the third biggest globally. As a pioneer and leader in the global sourcing industry, India is expected to generate 40 to 45 billion US dollars worth of revenue by 2020 in engineering R&D services, accounting for 40% of the total 31 billion US dollars of globalized engineering and R&D in 2015. The biggest Indian engineering rendition, IESS, as it crossed six illustrious years in 2017, came in a new avatar, International Engineering Sourcing Show, with Smart Tech for Smart Engineering as the theme. After five successful stints in Mumbai, Chennai was aptly chosen as the host which is fast emerging as a major export hub of cars for Southeast Asian and South African markets, also dubbed as the Detroit of India for its large-scale auto production infrastructure. Apart from the Union Ministry of Commerce and Industry, the show was also supported by Union Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises, Department of Heavy Industry and Department of Scientific and Industrial Research. It had Flanders as the focus region and SIDB as the MSME Solutions Partner, ISB as the Knowledge Partner and National Internet Exchange of India as the Associate Sponsor. There were many firsts to this show. First time outside Mumbai, first time in Chennai, first time technology and industry 4.0 as the theme, first time 10,000 visitors, first time Russia as the partner country and first time biometric inauguration with two industry ministers of two powerful allies, Mr. Denis Manturov, Minister of Industry and Trade of the Russian Federation and Ms. Nirmala Sitharaman, Minister of State for Commerce and Industry, Government of India, opening a colorful innings of three days, 16th to 18th of March 2017 at Chennai Trade Center, Chennai. The sixth edition of IESS saw 13 sessions, close to 100 speakers, 500 delegates from 100 nations. For the first time, partner country bilateral forum was attended by the industry ministers of both the nations. The Indo-Russia scope for industrial manufacturing cooperation was chaired by Sri Girish Shankar, Secretary, Department of Heavy Industries. There were four global sourcing meets by Yanmar and Kubota from Japan. Siemens and Stetter from Germany infused global flavor to the event. Global Investment Forum with speakers from Japan, External Trade Organization Jetro, Government of Flanders, Belgium, Tatarstan Investment Development Agency, Russia, the Czech Republic, and Bavaria, Germany. Vendor development sessions by the Indian Railways, Southern Railway, BEML, and Bharat Dynamics Limited. Sessions on international equivalence of accreditations and its benefits to industry was organized in collaboration with NABCB. Zero Defect, Zero Effect, ZED is a policy initiative of the Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi. A session on Z certification scheme, Roadmap to Global Competitiveness was organized to discuss the uniqueness of Z maturity assessment mode and its benefit to the industry. Session on making MSMEs internationally competitive was organized with SIDB as one of the stakeholders. Industrial Design Forum and Design Orientation Program. The forum was organized in collaboration with MSME and National Institute of Design. The sinosure of the event was the one-day technology meet on March 17th to create awareness among Indian MSMEs on technology upgradation. The theme was Global Opportunities for Technology Collaborations with India. A whole day session on executive knowledge series by ISB was very enlightening and invigorating. Two MOUs were signed at IESS 6. One was between EEPC India and JSC Moscow Region Development Corporation. The second was between EEPC India and BVV Fairs, the MSV Burno organization.
the 1200 one to one meetings generated 10436 business contacts 20652 business inquiries totaling 8.5 million us dollars the pavilions were also one of the key attractions this year with their out of the box designs the theme pavilions saw stalls of barc iit mumbai iit madras cmti and msme tools room booths from government of tamil nadu west bengal jharkhand chatisgarh and bihar underscored the interest of the indian states for showcasing their engineering skills isro the organization which materializes indian scientific dreams elevated to a different league with the booth presence The MSME Technology Pavilion was adjudged the best pavilion among Indian public sectors, Russia in the overseas category, Tamil Nadu in the states category and Cotton Greaves in the large scale enterprises and Atlas Machines among the small enterprises. After a successful spell in the 6th edition, EEPC India is ready to embrace the first repeat in Chennai in 2018. Don't miss IESS7 on the 8th, 9th and 10th of March 2018.